Yeah, thank you, Max. Good afternoon, everyone. As noted, I'm Bill Bullock, Senior Vice President for Economic Development at the North Carolina Biotechnology Center, or NC Biotech, and we'll be talking to you today about life sciences manufacturing. The pandemic has highlighted the importance of life sciences manufacturing as a globally competitive advanced technology sector of national economic and security interest to the United States. North Carolina has spent the past quarter century investing in training and physical infrastructure to support what is now a rapidly growing global center of excellence. Our proposal focuses on expanding the economic opportunity that our life sciences manufacturing industry offers to distressed communities and populations across North Carolina, all further impacted by the pandemic. To meet current demand and future growth, we must invest in building a larger, more diverse and equitable life sciences manufacturing workforce, expanding awareness and access, and ensuring that new skills match specialized industry needs. Our proposal focuses on the integration of four Ps key to a technology-based cluster approach, connecting product innovation to manufacturing process development that in turn informs people resources via accessible and up-to-date education and training capability, which ultimately impact place and those distressed communities where higher paying jobs offer new opportunities. Leading this coalition is NC Biotech, a unique center that has spent the past 40 years being good stewards of public money and transforming lives and communities through life sciences, and has built the ecosystem and partnerships to help the EDA and its goal to rapidly accelerate post-pandemic transformative change. It's my pleasure to now pass it on to my colleague, Sarah Imhoff, to talk more about our BBB partners and specific projects. Thank you, Bill. Our seven projects follow the four Ps, as well as the continuation from ideas through jobs and local impact. We know that innovation is the driver of jobs, which require a qualified and talented workforce. Our innovation project works under the premise that acceleration will take place when manufacturing process innovators are paired immediately with product innovators as they begin to ideate. It includes a hyper-connected innovation coalition and an accelerator program that prepares entrepreneurs and early stage company leaders for an accelerated manufacturing ecosystem. Our ECU project covers both process innovation and people. They are launching a small scale pilot state-of-the-art manufacturing innovation lab to prepare the workforce for tomorrow's manufacturing. This project also focuses on rural innovation. In our state's most distressed counties, they will train educators at all levels in how to prepare rural underserved students in biopharma innovation and manufacturing. The next two projects are focused primarily on people. A key to our entire proposal success is our community college system. They provide a certification course in specialized manufacturing to students who are not scientists and who do not have a college degree. But community colleges are challenged with faculty shortages, the need for more space and equipment and connectivity. Without funding, we will be greatly limited in our ability to reach historically excluded populations and to provide talent pools in distressed rural communities. Our HBCU coalition is the first of its kind, made up solely of minority serving institutions. It can reach 70% of our distressed communities and a disproportionate share of African-American and women. It creates six specialized training hubs. The next project touches people and place. The Biopharma Hub builds a new hub in our distressed southern eastern, southeastern corner of our state. In addition to new curriculum, this project includes the construction of a new state-of-the-art training facility backed by local industry and that will anchor a university innovation park. Our final two projects focus primarily on place, meeting North Carolinians where they are. The Community Engagement Project is all about the last mile to equity. It prioritizes expanding awareness and access about life sciences training, careers, and open jobs across our entire region. It prepares non-college seeking high school seniors with training and industry interviews. It connects inner city youth, often black and brown, to training careers in the life sciences right in their community. And it also includes an ambassador program and an industry apprenticeship consortium. Our Biosites project brings jobs and impact to local communities. It prepares two rural and distressed sites to be more shovel ready for life sciences industry to lay their roots in those communities. These locations were strategically selected based on community support and training assets in the area. Across these projects, we work very intently to make our life sciences uh, manufacturing industry more diverse, diverse in geography, gender, race and ethnicity, socioeconomic status, just to name a few. In closing, expanding sustainable career opportunities in life sciences manufacturing to new populations and communities is not only something we should do, 
but something we must do in North Carolina. And NC Biotech, along with our partners, have spent the last 40 years building a hyper-connected life sciences community that can drive hyper-accelerated outcomes.